You sign in, please, ma'am. Candy. Sherry Dunn. Is that right? Uh, actually, I might say to begin with that I can quite understand the candy. You look sweet enough to be candy, you know? Uh, where are you from? I'm from Nashville, and I married a Yankee, so I live in Nantucket. From Nashville, Tennessee, and you married a Yankee, and you live in Nantucket. Well, it's nice of you to... <laughs> Is that what happens when you marry a Yankee? The most awful things happen to you when you marry Yankees. <laughs> Actually, we're not half as bad as we're painted sometimes. Yeah. But now I've got some Yankees that I want you to meet. Would you be good enough to walk down in front of the panel? We had Yogi Berry here once. <laughs> Hi. All right, now, Mrs. Sheridan, will you come over here, please, and sit down next to me? And I think you may know that at this point in the program, we always give the panel one free guess as to what your line may be, and we always begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. Oh, I think she's a, a lobster fisher lady. A lobster fisher lady, Mr. Allen. <laughs> I just want to sit here and laugh at that, that's all. <laughs> I think candy is a um, carbohydrate. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. I think candy is a riveter at an airplane factory. Mr. Sir. <laughs> I think candy works on the Nantucket light ship. No, I'm afraid nobody has it right. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mrs. Sheridan, and at the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. All right, Mrs. Sheridan, I think uh, probably the rules are known to you. Every time you get a no answer out of them, it costs the panel $5. We keep a record of all that right up here. And Ten of these no's, and you have won the game. All right, Mrs. Sheridan is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Bennett Sir. Mrs. Sheridan, do you work on the island of Nantucket? Yes. Well, does your work have anything to do with tourists or vacationers? Sometimes. What else is there in Nantucket? <laughs> uh, are you in the town of Nantucket itself? Yes. Do you work in a shop in Nantucket? No. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Is there any service involved in your work? Yes. Would you perform this service for grown-ups? Yes. Men and women both? Yes. She seems almost as surprised as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Are they happier? Do they have a better time because of what you do? Sometimes. <laughs> you don't quite understand how perfect that answer is. You go on, Miss Darling. I hope they'll have a better time. Because I shall do. <laughs> do they usually avail themselves of your service in pairs? No. No, I wouldn't say that pairs <laughs> are necessary. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. Peaches. Does the service uh, that you perform for these folks have anything to do with uh, amusement or recreation or sports? Sometimes. <laughs> more, ordina more ordinarily than it would be something of a more serious nature, is that right? No, I don't guess so. Well, <laughs> actually, I think there we're getting into a, a rather delicate area. Certainly the uh, work that uh, Mrs. Sheridan uh, does has its serious connotations. At the same time, it may, in its effect upon third parties, supply them or at least further the prospects of good humor, good fun, and good living. <laughs> That's fine, but do I get a yes or no? <laughs> you get a qualified yes, Steve, and you go on. Okay. Uh, are they in any way, these people for whom you perform your services, in any way physically changed, or the better or worse, after you get at them? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Do you work indoors, Mrs. Sheridan? Sometimes. <laughs> you just can do it both ways no matter what happens. <laughs> uh, is it mostly, uh, do you have mostly transient people that uh, you work for or do your service for? No. 
No, I wouldn't no. think they were mostly transient. Um, mere bearing in mind Nantucket's basic nature, we'd give you a note of that. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Well, Candy, you said you don't work in a shop in Nantucket. Well, now, Nantucket is completely surrounded, of course, by water. Uh, does your work have anything to do with the, with the wide open sea that surrounds the island of Nantucket? No. Nothing well, we'd have to have a small conference. I've been looking for an excuse anyway. <laughs> We have had an executive committee meeting, and we feel that perhaps uh, we should give you a qualified yes, that the work uh, might have some effect upon the wide open sea and the use thereof. It might have an effect on the sea? The use thereof. <laughs> Actually, the use thereof. I mean, it's the relationship of the sea to the person or persons who might put it to you. Is, is there a liquid of any kind mixed up in what you do? Is there a liquid of any kind I mean, mixed up in what you do? It wouldn't be a barmaid at the, at the uh, White Elephant Hotel. No, I? there would like to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's five down and five to go to still down. Uh, Mrs. Sheridan, is the work that you do ever done by a man? Yes. Uh, does it require any strength or dexterity? You mean manual dexterity to, of a certain and specific nature in the handling of a specific piece of... Oh, machinery? I don't want to be too specific, John. You don't want to be too specific? No, it's I just... Uh, does it require some physical knack? Is it anything that's done better by a strong girl than a... Thank you one? very much. That'll make it six down and four to go. <laughs> Mr. Allen, when you do what you do, would you be apt to... So not wear a, the, a dress of the type you're wearing right now? Well, I don't think I really would uh, have to dress different, no. That would make it seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to give you one more minute for this. Miss Sher Mrs. Sheridan, is there any product whatsoever involved in what you do? It's just a service. Yes. Oh! oh. oh. Please. I don't get that. Yes, You've got uh, a no for that. Eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. But, uh, there is no product involved. That was a no. That's it. The no is on the product. You don't have anything to do with any phase of photography or camera work, do you? That makes it nine down and one to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you by any chance work for a non-profit making organization? Yes. Do you perform some uh, government service? Yes. Is it attached to the local Nantucket government? No. That would make it ten down and no more to go, and you were just getting on the trail. Because Mrs. Sheridan is the U.S. weatherman on Nantucket. Oh, really? Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> and I think Mrs. Sheridan deserves a special medal, because she said as she sat down, oh boy, am I scared. <laughs> you didn't show you're scared, and you won the full prize, and we're very pleased that you came to see us and hope you enjoyed the visit. Thank it's nice God. to have you with us. Good night. <laughs> All right, panel, let's see what, what we can do with another challenger. Would you sign in, please, to the special feature of the program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity?